teach you how to be single. It seems being single is something we like to declare. Movies celebrate it, clothing announces it, and the ladies even have an anthem for it. Now put your hands up. But when it comes to the guys, we're less likely to proclaim we're a party of one, and we're more likely to lie about what we're doing on Valentine's Day if we have no plans. Taluna Research conducted a survey of 1,200 adults, half single and half married, and discovered that nearly one in four single men lied about having Valentine's Day plans compared to one in six single women. Dr. Joseph Salona, a clinical psychologist from FYI's Married at First Sight, weighed in on the findings and said, it makes sense that men lie about it. The doctor said, many men feel a tremendous amount of pressure from society not to express emotion, especially negative emotion, like sadness, and particularly around issues related to romantic relationships. Many men feel that being expressive emotionally about these kinds of issues will be viewed as not masculine or weak. Now, it's important to note that Dairy Queen paid for the survey after it recognized the growing number of single Americans as noted by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It led the company to create this singles blizzard to help you avoid lamenting that you're a loner with a perfect for one portion. Or this is a ploy to get singles off the couch to find love at DQ with something other than a dilly bar. But my guess is if you're lying to strangers about your Valentine's Day plans, just go ahead and pull a Bridget Jones. Grab yourself a big tub of Blue Bunny ice cream and block yourself in your house for the weekend. You'll find it easier for your heart to grow colder with a gallon of the good stuff. For Newsy, I'm Cody LeGrow.